SNES Drunk. Welcome back to SNES Drunk Play Secret of Mana. And I have a sword, and this whiny little fat kid is cowering in fear as I fight this uh, monster that I, I just fell into this pit, and now I'm knocked out, and I'm going to die. I hope I don't uh, die too often in this part. God, I don't remember him blocking that often. It's been a long time since I've played this game. At least a year. Fifteen, come on. Damn it. Yeah, see, when you uh, die, you get this little cartoony death thing above you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you're not allowed to die on this boss. The guy, uh... Uh, the guy, uh, the soldier guy is looking down through the hole on top, I guess, and helping you out that way. With uh, words of encouragement or something, I don't know. Revives you with the, uh, the power of positivity, I don't know. Not doing so well. <laughs> I was hoping only to die once, but uh, it doesn't appear to be a possibility. There we go. Uh oh. All right, only three. Still up there. There we go. One more hit ought to do it. Shit. Yes, the dream is alive. Come on. Oh. Well, now I'm going to die. That's no fun. Should be one more hit. Hang on, I'll help you. Uh, Sure. Not sure how that works. See, I knew it. Cool. Mission accomplished. Game over. You save the fat kid, and that's that. So anyway, way to go. And you get a sword orb, which is very important, because that allows you to remove rust from the sword. It sounds like a Billy Mays product. Do you have problems with rust removal? Soap, soap scum, and lime stains or whatever. <laughs> Can't help but think of Djibouti dubs when I think of Billy Mays. Billy Mays here with another fantastic product. So we gotta go see this chick named Sage Luca. Is that her first and last name? Oh, what does Timothy have to tell us? Alrighty. Get going! <laughs> Alright. So what's going on here? Uh-oh. They're having a meet they're talking about they're talking smack behind my back. We can't have this. Oh, well, I didn't mean to, I just needed to get home. Uh oh, here we go. Sad music alert. Aw. 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 I love this music. It's great. It's perfect for this game. Give me this treasure. All right, 50 gold. That should buy me, like, a bandana or something. <laughs> you got this sad scene, like, we're kicking you out for your own, for our own good, for the greater good of the village. And this chick's like, heading out, see you later. <laughs> let the music play a little longer because I know the music is going to change again. Change in a, a little bit here. Like, right here. More sad music, but it's not as, uh, not as good as the other theme. Now we must part. And this isn't, believe it or not, this comes, a, you know, I know this comes across as generic. You know, it's like, oh, it's an orphan and he's the chosen one somehow and blah, blah, blah. The story actually makes sense. It explains why he's able to pull out the sword. It explains who his mother is and why her, his mother had to leave. It all comes back. You got to give the game credit for that. 
I don't think... I need to check and see what I actually have <laughs> before I buy anything. Yeah, here's our first look at the ring system here. It looks like that's all I have is the overalls. So that means I will buy... Uh, what, do, what do they have here? Not much. Buy some candy. An herb. And a bandana. I think that's... Yeah, that's all they can... All I can get so far, so... I guess I'll get out of here. Yep. <laughs> now get out of here! Guy's such a Flanders-y looking guy, too. That's actually... I just remembered my friend and I, um, when we played this game, behind my brother's back, we called that guy Flanders. Ned Flanders. Derisively, of course. It's like Flanders is mean in this game. Alternate universe Flanders. Anyway, we don't want to take the cannon travel system, because that's... The Wander Palace is right up here. Hey, it's uh, our first mush boom. And I forgot to point out our first... Uh, what do you call it? Flower enemy thing. Boy, it takes a while to really get your... Uh, going on this game. Like, to really get familiar with the hitboxes. To get familiar with the... Uh, can I go back and fight him again? I want to level up. No, I, I think I have to leave altogether before I fight him again. See, it's, it's tr tricky to get familiar with the uh, range of attack of each enemy. Oh, see? Missed him. But if you're at just the precise distance... Oh, see, I got fucking hit there. How did that happen? There we go. What's over here? Oh, it's Nico's. Nico, a.k.a. the freaking Neiman Marcus of this game. Super expensive crap. You, you have to pay top dollar anytime you buy anything from Nico. It's super annoying. And then there's one... As the further you progress in the game, there's stuff that only she sells. The Wheel of Stuff. I think I'm just going to get a wristband. Oops. Wrong button. One, one thing that throws me off about this game every time I play it is that B is the action button. B is, like, the select button. So, uh... I forgot to equip the bandana when I left the thing, and that guy even yelled at me to equip it, and I didn't do it. Whoops. But yeah, the B button is the... Uh, usually, I think in pretty much every RPG for Super Nintendo, B is, like, cancel, or, like, back out of. B is the actual... Uh, action. You know, you swing your sword with with B. Let's level up a bit, shall we? I'm already at level 3. Let's kill some more rabid uh, f flowers here. What is that, a tulip? Let's go get this mush boom again. Get big time points killing these things. Yeah, that's funny. It's, it's crazy how the mind works. I remember that now. I... My uh, we we used to my friend and I that lived down the road from me. We gave names to like each of the character sprites. Um, and I don't remember. I only remember Flanders because we used to laugh at him. But like each of the women had uh, hey, what's this? What's with these guys? Hmm, sounds dangerous. Uh huh. What do you have to say? Oh, they're heading out. Pick them away, toys. Yeah, what was that? Oh, water palace is right up here. Where did these go? Whoa, they disappeared over here. Shit. Where am I? <laughs> uh huh. That's what they're talking about with the whip. They need it to get across there. And we don't get the whip for a while, I don't believe. In fact, I think we get the whip in the Haunted Forest. Doesn't Dialect give it to us? I don't remember. What's over here? I know you can go over here later, but I don't think... I'm curious. Is, can you go in this cave right now? 
Oh, it's an invisible wall. I mean, God forbid they just, like, put something there. All right, I'm coming up on the 10-minute mark. Let's uh, look at the Water Palace next time. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Let's go drunk.